My name is Glynis Jones. I'm the principal of Heartlands Academy in Meachels in Birmingham. Uh, Mrs Jones, uh, we've come to the end of the Have Fun, Be Safe um, week and uh, it's been a year in the planning. Mm -hmm. How have you found the whole process? Well, I, I, I'm amazed by the, uh, the commitment uh, of the young people o over a period of 12 months. Very often um, they have short spans of, of thinking and, and planning. Um, and, and I think this project has really brought out uh, some quality working together as, as a group and um, sustaining that um, feeling of wanting to be able to pass on a message, uh, a key message to other students. Um, I, I also think that it's, they've gained in confidence. Um, they, they, I, don't, I don't think sometimes we give them enough credit for, for the abilities that they have in terms of be, behaving like young adults and, and this is what this group have done. Um, but I also, I also think that um, looking over the 12 months from, from the Academy's point of view, uh, it's amazing what we can achieve with non-teachers taking on significant roles. And I think that uh, with Miss Richards leading this, it, it's, it's an ideal structure because it does mean that, the, that the, uh, there's no teaching to be thought about, there's no planning. It's, it's actually somebody being able to take on a, a key role and, and develop that. Now, Mrs Richards couldn't have you know, done this particular project without the support of senior staff such as yourself. How important do you feel your support has been to the project? Well, I hope that it has been significant and, and that um, it has helped the project to, to move forward. Um, but I, I am a firm believer that there are certain roles in school that it is very important that you don't give teachers to do. Um, because they don't necessarily have those skills. Their skills are in the classroom and to look at the knowledge and the understanding and, and the developing of youngsters that way. And um, I believe that we're fortunate here that, that we are able, we've been able to develop um, other key staff who are not teachers but who have as much credibility with, with the young people um, and, and are therefore able to lead those young people in. To, to, to do different uh, projects such as this one um, and as you know Miss Richards is also she oversees student voice in the school which is I think is significant because sometimes it's a lot easier to talk to adults other than teachers. Now it's hopes that one of the outcomes of um, this whole event will see it being rolled out to other schools or, or similar projects like this. What advice would you give to head teachers um, at these other schools that may be considering doing something similar to the Have Fun Be Safe project? Well, I think my first one would be don't say no. Um, you know, look into it in more detail. And, and if the head teacher themselves hasn't got the time, and I mean, I, this, this is good practice that I'm sure happens, but if they haven't got the time, find somebody in school who has got the time um, or come along and um, come and ask us what it was like. Because one of the things that looking at the responses from the young people following the week is that it, it's fascinating because these are accidents that because of the society that we live in and um, because of the nature of the news that we get these days, they can be forgotten accidents, but they're just as difficult and dangerous to deal with. So uh, I think that to me has been a significant uh, feature, um, which is why I say don't say no, because um, sometimes we allow uh, the press and society to take over some of our basics. And is Heartland, how is Heartland Academy uh, planning to continue the works that have already been started through the, the, the project? Well, we've, um, we've introduced this year what's called a Creative Curriculum Week, and we have three of them, uh, one per term. Uh, and, and our intention is to use the current leaders to train new leaders but at the same time de deliver to the New Year 7 as they come in and provide refresher sessions for the other year groups so that it's, again, it's not one of these things that gets lost. It's not a one-off. It, it, it is something that's built into our creative curriculum. So overall, you'd say it's been a success? 
I think it's been wonderful. Um, and I've only been standing uh, on the sidelines, but uh, to see the young people grow, to see the way in which they worked with so many agencies um, on, on the week, it, it was just uh, fantastic. And I think also um, that the different agencies that came in, that they were able, I, I believe, to get a really positive experience uh, of, of the Academy. So, um, yeah, it has been a tremendous week and a tremendous project.